Website, mistake number 24, leading people away from your site with your testimonials. Now here's a common website mistake you need to look at from each of two different sites. This one has to do with the use of written testimonials on your website. If you're giving a testimonial to someone else, then what you hope for is actually completely opposite of what you want to do when someone gives you a testimonial for use on your site. As a giver of a testimonial, you hope that the other website owner will link to your website through your written testimonial. Of course, in your testimonial itself, you want to say something like, Hi, this is Frank Deerdorf, co-founder of Ask Database, and I'd like to tell you all about. At the end of your printed testimonial on their website, you're going to have your name and website URL. You actually hope that the URL is a live link directly to your website. They shouldn't, but you hope that they do, however, on your website you don't ever want to have a live link in the testimonials about your product. Why would you want to provide your visitor with another easily clickable distraction that takes them away from your sales letter? You don't, so any URL you have listed with a written testimonial on your site should never, never be a live link. Any type of external links you have within your site, or sites, runs the risk of leading a visitor away, never ever to return. Testimonials are critical to your sales process. Just be sure you're using them the right way.